Hey YouTube, I want to show you this cool equipment I got to practice my kicks. Different kicks than I practice on a heavy bag. So these are Taekwondo mitts and I'm pretty excited because for certain kicks, I usually need someone to hold a Taekwondo mitt out, you know, with their arm. But this, I don't need to ask anyone for help. And so I, you got the low, medium, high. And then on the side, here, here you can adjust the angle of, of what you want these at. And then you, you, I drilled this whole thing to the wall, which is from the instructions. These are great because this is for kicking combos that I just can't execute on a heavy bag. And I'm talking about that follow through with the kick. So let me show you. stands they're a little lower this would be like their jaw this would be a, a tall person okay so again we have chambers we can do we have follow throughs or you can switch follow throughs we have switch stance finish the uh there's Many different names for that style of kick. All right. And of course the spinning back hook kick. Now when you practice your spinning back hook kick, make sure you can, your cross, your cross should be able to reach the end. Your cross should be here. All right. Now, if you can't touch it, then your, your kick's not gonna reach. And that'd be the same for, for sparring someone. A lot of people throw spinning back hook kicks and they don't land them because uh, they didn't time the uh, distance or the gap between their opponent well enough. So if, so if I'm here, one, two, three. Or from here, one, two, three. So that was both heights of them. Let me switch the angle. Taekwondo base kicks, whereas for the Muay Thai kicks, the knees have to be on the heavy bag. So this is perfect for precision, and it's perfect for spinning back kicks, and I think it's really, really going to help me out, and I'm very grateful that it was sent to me, and I really, really like this.
this is about the distance that you would need for a spinning back kick, even if this is the height of the head. I'd be right here. Make sure you can touch it. You prep, you turn, you're gonna transfer your weight. You can use the, the bottom side of your foot, or you can use your heel, and cross. Touch, cross. Touch, cross. Touch, cross. Touch, cross. 